Now it's time to export your database. The database is incredibly important when it comes to your WordPress site. It houses all types of information of how your website functions, what content to kind of pull together, and all the text information that actually is on your website doesn't live in the files, it lives in the database. And exporting the database is pretty easy. What you wanna do is access PHP My Admin. If you're in cPanel, there's usually a PHP My Admin button, uh, but if you're using some other host with a different control panel, check out their settings on how to access PHP My Admin. But once you're here, all the regular settings are pretty straightforward and should be identical. The way your PHP My Admin might look might be a little bit different if it has a different skin. Like I know this is just the default setting, but if you're using something like Cloudways, their PHP My Admin uh, looks a lot different and cleaner. Uh, look like a little more modern UI, but the functions are still the same. Now, what we're gonna wanna do first here is click on the database name. Uh, mine is all random nonsense for security purposes. Chances are, if you let an installer create this, it set up the database name for you, and that's fine. Just don't choose the information schema. Once we're there, we're gonna go ahead and click on the export tab. You're gonna get a lot of information. All of the tables should be selected. You'll have some options as far as like what the format is. I recommend SQL. Uh, make sure you have save as file created because if you don't, this will happen. And it'll basically just give you all the code. Now you can save this in a new text file as a SQL yourself, but why? It's just an extra step that you're gonna have to do at the end of the day. So choose save as file and then we'll hit go. And you can see it's saved at the bottom here. I have my SQL file and that's how to export a database. And because that database is so important, it's gonna house what the site and home URL of your WordPress site and have a ton of references to the various links for that domain name throughout the database. And we wanna change that if you're doing something from like a development site, so like dev domain name or some type of temporary domain to the primary site. And I'm gonna show you how to easily do that with that SQL file. And I'm using brackets because I'm on a Mac, but if you're on Windows, I highly recommend Notepad++ for this. So I'm just gonna open up my SQL file really quick and have that here. Inside of brackets and Notepad++, or even Notepad for that matter, if you just wanna use regular old Notepad, uh, there's a find and replace. So I'm gonna do a replace. So then I would find the, the old domain name, so find this temporary domain name, and I would replace this with mylivedomain.com, and I would hit replace all. And now you can see that the site URL, the home URL, and any other references to that old domain name are gone. I would just save the file and that's it. I've just changed the entire WordPress name inside the database in like two seconds using that find and replace in brackets, notepad++, notes, whatever you wanna use, the process is the same.